This video is intended to give an overview of what's involved with installing a Magnuson supercharger on a Tundra 5.7 liter flex fuel engine. We're using a 2017 Tundra for our instructions. However, they also apply to the 2007 to 2016 models. This video is not intended to give complete, detailed, step-by-step -step instructions. The more detailed information can be found in the instruction manual supplied with the kit. The first step of installation is to connect the Bully Dog Tuner to the OBD2 port for calibration of your system to function with the supercharger. Follow the instructions in the provided pamphlet to install your tune. After the Bully Dog calibration has been completed, raise the vehicle on a twin post lift. Remove the belly pan and drain the coolant at the bottom of the radiator. Remove the engine cover. Remove the grill. Disconnect and remove the battery. Remove the upper radiator hose. Remove the air cleaner upper case. Remove the air inlet duct. Remove the throttle body. Disconnect all hoses, brackets, wiring, and electrical connectors from the intake manifold. Remove all the intake manifold bolts. Using an air nozzle, spray away any dirt or debris from around the intake manifold. Remove the intake manifold. Take special care of these intake manifold gaskets. They'll be needed with the supplied supercharger. Clean off the gasket surface with brake cleaner and a cloth. Cover these intake ports with masking tape so that things don't accidentally fall into the engine. Remove and discard the serpentine drive belt. Remove the driver's side front wheel assembly. Remove the inner fender apron. Remove the four air conditioning mounting fasteners and slide the air conditioning compressor outboard of the engine as far as possible. Remove and discard these solid coolant tubes. Remove this coolant crossover manifold. Apply Coolant Safe RTV Gasket Maker to the supplied coolant crossover manifold. Leaving the original gaskets in place, install the supplied crossover manifold. Remove the coolant temperature sensor from the original crossover manifold and install it on the supplied manifold. Install the supplied serpentine belt idler pulley bracket and idler pulley. Install the supplied coolant hard lines and connect the coolant temperature sensor wire. Slide the AC compressor back into place. Install and tighten the fasteners. Snap the under fender apron back in place. Replace all eight spark plugs. This is done by removing each ignition coil. Remove the original spark plug and install the supplied spark plug. Be sure to use anti-seize compound on the threads of the plug. Install the supplied plug, torque it to spec, and reinstall the ignition coil. Ready the engine for the supercharger by modifying and fitting all coolant and vacuum lines as per Magnuson instructions. Loosen but do not remove the fuel rail bolts. Remove the masking tape and clean the gasket surface. Carefully remove the original gasket from the intake manifold and install it in the grooves of the supplied Magnuson supercharger. With the gasket on both banks of the supercharger and the gasket surfaces of the engine clean, carefully set the supercharger in place. This step will likely require some help from other people or an engine crane. After checking to see that the supercharger is positioned correctly, install the original bolts and torque them according to the correct specification and sequence shown in the instruction manual. Using the belt routing diagram in the manual, position the supplied serpentine belt over each pulley except for the supercharger pulley. Then, while having an assistant hold the tensioner pulley, fit the belt over the supercharger pulley and release the tensioner pulley. Remove the shipping plug from the supercharger inlet and ensure that the throttle body gasket is still in place. 
Install the throttle body. Notice that the throttle body is upside down from its original position. Be sure to torque these bolts according to the installation instruction manual. Reconnect all the necessary electrical wiring and hoses to the throttle body. Install the throttle body air inlet duct. Remove the inlet duct from the original lower air box and install it on the supplied air box. Position the supplied air box as shown. Install the supplied air filter. Remove the mass airflow sensor from the original upper air box and install it on the supplied air box. Install the upper air box on the air duct. Position it on the lower air box and lock down the clips. Remove the vacuum switching valve from the original intake manifold and attach it to the supplied intercooler reservoir bracket. Position the reservoir bracket and install the bolts. Connect up any remaining vacuum, coolant, or ventilation hoses and electrical connections associated with the supercharger as detailed in the instruction manual. Install the radiator hose upside down from its original orientation. Remove the driver's side radiator shroud. Install the bottom low temperature radiator bracket. Install the top low temperature radiator brackets and finally install the low temperature radiator in front of the AC condenser. Install the intercooler pump as shown. Install the pump to radiator hose. Install the intercooler reservoir in the bracket. Modify the radiator shroud to accommodate the intercooler hoses. Reinstall the shroud back in the vehicle. Install the supplied intercooler supply lines and associated clamps. Begin installing the intercooler pump wiring harness by removing the underhood fuse box lid. Install the supplied relay and fuse bracket. Install the fuse and relay and connect up the rest of the wiring harness as shown in the instruction manual. Reinstall the battery, then connect the positive battery terminal and then the negative. Fill the intercooler reservoir with approved coolant and purge all the air by following the procedures outlined in step number 245. After making sure the radiator drain valve is closed, fill the radiator with approved coolant. Start Go the ahead, engine and let it run. Carefully check for any coolant, fuel, or vacuum leaks and repair as needed. Continue adding coolant as the engine warms up and air is purged out of the system. Reinstall the grill, belly pan, and driver's side front wheel. Perform the initial test drive by following steps 247 and 248 in the instruction manual. We remind you that this video is not an all-inclusive step-by-step procedure for installing this kit. Rather, it's an overview. We strongly recommend anyone installing this kit to carefully follow the instructions supplied with the kit. That concludes today's presentation. We remind you that all the parts and supplies required for this job can be purchased through our website at www.lowrangeoffroad.com or by calling 801 805-6644.